Hello, Year 10. Um, I'm going to show, go work through the answers to the uh, worksheets that I gave you last week. Okay, so when you get your purple pens ready, you've got to wave them in the air and you've got to sing the purple pen song. <clears throat> purple pen, purple pen. Purple pen, purple pen. And you've got to practice that song because we're going to use it a lot. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the answers to these three questions are all the same, really. Um, deep sea divers have to wear very strong diving suits. Why? Because pressure increases with depth. Yeah, pressure increases with depth. Okay, remember that can with the little spouts on. Um, why does the strength of the ship have to be greater further it is under the water? Same answer. And a hole in the ship near the bottom is more dangerous than the hole near the surface. Well, there's more pressure at the bottom uh, because it's it's lower in the water and so... It'll force the water into the boat much uh, more quickly. Give two reasons why liquids are used in hydraulic systems. Okay, so the first one here is that they cannot be compressed. Okay, so that's that one there, cannot be compressed. And the second one here is... Uh, the fact that liquids um, take the shape of their container, it can flow, okay? Because obviously solids can be, uh, can't be compressed either, but solids would be no good in a hydraulic system because it wouldn't move, okay? So it, no, the first one is um, they cannot be compressed, and the second one is that they take the shape of their container, it can flow. B, an example of hydraulic system in, is the hydraulic car brakes. When the brake pedal is pushed, the brake pad pushes against the wheel disc. Explain why this system can be described as a force multiplier. So the answer here is that um, the, out, uh, the output force is bigger than the input force. So the output force is bigger than the input force. Yeah, it, it makes the force bigger, is, is basically the correct answer. Okay. Right, so C. If the driver pushes on the brake pedal uh, with a force of 200 newtons, the area of the master piston is um, 2 centimetres squared. Calculate the pressure. Okay, well, pressure is... Let's get the right colour pen. Force over area. And it's a good idea to change that area to centimetres squared. And to do that, you divide by 10,000. OK? So it's 200. I'm just doing it on my calculator now. Divided by uh, 0 0.0002. And that gives an answer of a million. And that will be in pascals because we've managed to change the centimetre squared into metres squared. What is the pressure transmitted through the liquid to the slave piston? Well, as we've, as we've said when we went through this last lesson, um, the pressure is the same throughout the liquid. And so that is the answer. OK, it's the same as the pressure we've just calculated. If the area of the slave piston is 16 centimetres uh, squared, calculate the force exerted. Okay, well, we've, we've worked out the pressure, which is a million here. And we've now got an area, which is 16. Okay, if we rearrange this equation, okay, um, we would get F equals P times A. Okay, so um, if you do a million... And remember to change that 16 um, centimetres squared into metres squared. We divide by 10,000. So it would be a million multiplied by 0.0016. Um, so 
So I'm just doing that on my calculator. One, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. And that is 1,600 pascals, which goes in there. Right, lovely. Explain how a hydraulic car jack works. I'm going to read this out because I'm not going to be able to write it in there. So the downwards force provided on the master piston creates a pressure um, in the liquid. That pressure is equal to F over A. Uh, so it's the area of that piston there. The exact same pressure is exerted on the slave piston and because the area is bigger, we get a bigger force. Okay. And then finally on this slide, uh, we've got a calculation. Um, and for this, I'm just going to see if we can get rid of some of these annotations a second. So I've got some space. And you can always replay the video. Um, we've got the uh, hydraulic equation, which is F1 over A1 equals F2 over A2. Okay. If a weight of a car is a thousand, sorry, ten thousand newtons, calculate the downwards force. So we're trying to calculate here um, the F1. So we need to rearrange this by multiplying by a2. So it would be F2 A1 times uh, over A2. Okay, let me just write that out for you. So it's F1 equals F2 times A1 over A2. All right. Um, now, because both of the areas are in centimetres squared, you can actually leave it. You don't have to change the metres squared because you'd be you'd be multi, you'd be dividing both of them by ten thousand, and that'll be one up here, one on the top of the equation, one on the bottom of the equation. So you can leave that. So the answer will be, um, <coughs> um, which one's a one? So a one is four. So it'll be four divided by eighty times the 10,000, which is 500, and it's a force, so it's Newtons. Okay, this question, uh, we've got a hydraulic brake system, which is the correct st statement about pressure X at, and at pressure Y. Uh, we've talked in the previous question that they need to be the same. Piston B is larger than piston A. How will this affect the size of the force on piston B? Um, so piston B is larger than piston B A. That means that the force is larger than A. It's a force multiplier. A force of two, 24 newtons acts on a piston A. The cross-sectional area of the piston is 8 millimetres squared. Uh, calculate the pressure. Now, here, the pressure is in newtons per millimetre squared, so you can leave it, yeah? So, it's P, sorry, is F over A, okay? So, it's 24 over 8. So, the answer will be 3 newtons per millimetre squared. OK, uh, it's saying the unit uh, for that question was newtons per millimetre squared. What is it usually? It's usually the Pascal. The liquid used in the hydraulic brake system freezes at minus 30, suggest one effect a temperature below would have on the brake system. It wouldn't work because it would be a solid. OK, um, so it wouldn't work because it's a solid and it wouldn't flow. OK, brilliant. Right, so we've got an, another question here with a mountain biker um, with hydraulic brakes. And let's go to the next slide to see that one. Okay, and here is the diagram. 
We've got the, mas uh, the master piston here and the slave piston here. And the key things are the areas, okay, in its in standard form. What property of a liquid enables the hydraulic brake system to work? Cannot be compressed. Cannot be compressed. When the rider's hand pulls on the brake lever, the master piston applies a, 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 a pressure um, of 1.5 times 10 to the pas 6 pascals to the liquid. Using the information, calculate the force exerted on the liquid by the master piston. So we've got pressure is force over area. OK. Um, we want to work out force. We're going to multiply by A. So it's F equals P times A. Brilliant. Um, and so it's 1.5 times 10 to the 6. I'm just doing this on my calculator. Um, and we want to work it for the master piston. So it's this area here. So times uh, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay. And so I've got the answer as 56. 56. Okay, so if you multiply this one by this one, you get 56. The pressure in the liquid applies to a applies a force to move each slave piston. How does the size of the force compare to the force applied by the master piston? The size of the force is bigger, okay, and give a reason. And in fact, you can even work it out if you look at how much it's multiplied. If you look at how much the area is multiplied by, so if I do 14.4, and that's times 10 to the minus 5, so that's fine, um, divided by 5.6, uh, it's about 2.5, so it's about 2.6 times. So it's greater, uh, and why? Because uh, the area is bigger. You might also quote the hydraulic equation at this point. And if you really want to work out how much um, <laughs> bigger the force is, you can um, take that number and divide it by that number. That sort of gives you the ratio of how it's um, how much is multiplied by. So I get 2.57. That's how much bigger it is. Okay, and there we go. Hope you did really well. Uh, let me know of any um, issues or anything you didn't quite understand and I'll get back to you in the comments. Brilliant.